Well, to to kind of start off, um, I'm I'm 19. Mm-hmm. And uh, all my life, you know, I've I've been I've been a believer. I've I've followed what I believe to be as good. Mm-hmm. And and here recently, I guess uh, it. I don't. I, I'm kind of afraid to say it, but uh, doubting. Mm-hmm. That's a scary thing when you believe. And I'm sorry. It's a scary thing when you're a believer. It yeah yeah. Um, and and there's really <laughs> not many people to talk about because I mean, even talking with like my family about it, they just wouldn't. They just would probably disown me. <laughs> I'm I I definitely um, I feel you, man. Um, uh. I'm 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 glad you're calling. Um, y- you know, it, it, can I can I offer you up a bit of advice? Uh, sure. When you're questioning, demand evidence. When you're reading, follow it to its conclusions and don't be afraid to ask questions because if the God of the Bible is true, it will be self-evident. You will be able to tell and test it and you will be able to check it up against uh, historical records and things like that. I remember, it, yeah, it's a crisis of faith. It's not I'm having doubts. It's I'm in crisis. And I'm, I, I, it's, it's a scary place to be. Um, but I do want you to know, John, that you're not alone. Um, I found myself in that place, and it is terrifying. Um, do you, have you watched Talk Heathen? Do you, have, you, have you seen the kind of resources that we try and put out there for people who are questioning? Um, I, I'm going to say say yes. I don't have any of them like close by or anything, but I do know what you're talking about. Um, it, it was actually this show specifically that kind of started my whole crisis, I guess. Oh, wow. Um, like, like this one in um, uh, Atheist Experience. Because, you know, I'd, I'd hear them asking other believers questions, and I wouldn't have any better answer. <laughs> wow, right. that's, that's powerful, man. Um, so um, Hard for me to come up with something to say because I never <laughs> believed. So I haven't gone through this. No worries. And uh, I, I, can, I can't even imagine what it must be like. So, I, 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 if you're not by a pen or a paper, that's fine. I do want to try and put this out for anybody else who's listening. Um, the Recovering from Religion Foundation, um, it's 1-844-368-2848, and I think it's 1-84-I-doubt-it. Um, it's a peer support line, and I actually volunteered on it before. Uh, it's really, really fun. You call in, and it's just somebody who will listen. And they're not going to try and evangelize to you. They're not going to say, God is dead. They're not going to do any of that. What they're going to do is they're going to put you in touch with people who are close to you, who are nearby, and, and help give you some community. Because that, that, for me, was the hardest part, was when you feel alone, right? Yeah, um, and I mean, like I said, it's with like my family and everything like that, it's really... Uh, I've just I've never had anybody to talk to about it. I mean... I was going to be a preacher. Oh, right. <laughs> and then there goes that life, that whole life out, out the window. But Well, I, I am here to tell you, John, um, I turned 30 and then decided that I was going to start my life. I'm 30. And um, it was then that I decided that I was going to do something. And I'm on my second life and you're 19. You have a lot of time in front of you, brother. Don't count yourself out. It's all right. Take your time. Learn, explore, grow, and um, keep in touch. Yeah. The, uh, I, what do you think of the advice uh, if, you're, if you're young, you're living mm-hmm. with your family, you kind of need to hide this. Yeah. Well, and, and, and that is for, good advice. For purely practical purposes. You do. Um, it, wait until you're in a safe place. Um, it's okay to read, and I know it feels miserable, but don't jeopardize your safety 
right? There's no yeah. God out there that's going to smite you if you do come to this side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> depending here. on how long it takes, right? Um, <laughs> and I, so, so don't don't be in so much of a rush, um, but read. I mean, the scary thing on on our end is that you reach the atheist conclusion for really shitty reasons, right? Be a skeptic. Learn about skepticism. Right. It's okay to ask about everything because the more you ask, the more you open yourself up to be able to look for the questions. If we thought the firmament was the firmament, then we would have never built planes and rockets to shoot to the moon, to, to throw out satellites, right? I, I mean, the more that we question, the better we're situated to know answers. Um, yep. So um, definitely check out skepticism. Question everything. And do you have our thank, email? Thank you very much. Dude. I'm sorry? Do you, do you, do you have our email? Uh, I have it somewhere um, on my computer. No uh, worries. I've, I've come very close to like emailing y'all before, but... Well, we have mail. My, my fingers started burning. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you do feel like it, mail at talkheathen.com. Um, I would love to talk to you. And I would love to catch up. To catch up and help you in any way that I can. And I guarantee you, I'm taking a look, and I'm looking at the, uh, the live chat for the show, and you should see the love, man. Um, people accuse atheists of not having that, of being immoral, of not being able to love and care for somebody, but we do. And you're, you, you will be safe here. That's okay. Um, so, yeah, keep in touch, okay? Uh, is, I will. Is Thank there, you very much. Absolutely. Is there anything else that you had a question about that we might be able to help with? Um, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I called not really knowing what I was even going to be talking about. I just knew I needed to call, I guess. Hey, we're both giving you a big yeah. hug through the camera, man. You take care. I'm glad you called. Well, thank you. All right. I look forward to your email, hopefully. If not, anybody else that's watching, you're always welcome to email. You're always welcome. Please call the Recovering from Religion Foundation. John, I'll catch up with you later. All right. Y'all have a good one. You too. All right. Wow. I was, I was, I was <laughs> all set to go on the offensive and... Wow, somebody in somebody in distress called up. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, oh um, no, we get more of those than you think. Uh, actually, it's um, like, yeah, you got to help people. Yeah.